Hey, so in this video we're going to make a spheroid out of cubes, or a sphere out of cubes. And in, we're going to do this using the last video where we made a cube out of cubes. So you can either look at the last video, but really, basically, uh, in the video description there's something called voxel tools. So you'll need that script, and you also need in resources a cube prefab. But other than that, you'll be good to go. Right click, create, C sharp script. We're going to call it voxel spheroid and open that up. So for voxel spheroid, I'm really going to start with a lot of what we did last time. I'm going to copy this, put it here, because it's really going to be similar. So save that. And in Unity, click on one of these objects, maybe the ground, and do add component voxel spheroid. So here's where we were last time, and when I press Q, they fall, and that's a cube made of cubes. So here's the basic approach. Let's say we've made all of these squares. We want to decide for every single one, we want to decide if we actually want to make it. So let's say the shape we're, we're aiming to make here is this circle. Okay. You know, you kind of need to round it off, so maybe we're going to make this one. We're not going to make that one because it's outside, and so we're going to make these ones. So what rule are we going to use to do that? We're going to say that the center here is 0, 0, and we're going to make all these squares, and we're going to get the distance for each square to that center. So we're going to say, we're going to look at this one, and we're going to look at the distance, so this line, the length of this line, it's, it's smaller than this circle, right? The distance to this circle is maybe about this far. So look, that red line's shorter, so we're gonna make that blue one. And then say we're at this square up here, we're gonna again look at the length from this line to the center. And this line is too long, right? Because this is the, the length we're looking for, and look, it's too long. So we're not gonna make that red one the blue one, where it's going to be red. So if you fill in them all, and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this, but that's why we get computers to do it. Oh, maybe this will look okay. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. So, you know, maybe we could apply this rule and it might look something like this. And, you know, just imagine I fill in the rest are green. And we just have to do that in 3D. So for the spheroid, we're going to make a cube of cubes, like we did before, but decide if we actually want to make one each time. So it's going to be a little different from 0 to 8. We're actually going to do a radius, and let's say 6. And so instead for these loops, it's going to start at negative radius, and it's going to go up to radius for each of these. So this 8 is a radius, and watch out when you're copy-pasting code, it's not really a good thing to do. So negative radius for each, up to radius. So if this is i, we're starting here, um, yeah, we're, we'd be starting here at negative radius, negative radius. So let's say in this case the radius is 4, which it is, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, yeah. So this is negative 4, 4 negative 3, 4, negative 2, 4, and so on. We're going to do that for i, and then we're going to, for each i, so let's say i is negative 2, j is going to be everything up here, and that's going to repeat. So we're just repeating a repetition of a repetition, so then we'll see what that does. This is going to be quite a few cubes, actually, for my poor computer. So it's going to be a bit slow. But there you go. Oh, I kind of made it in the floor, right? Because it's negative. The, uh, the, if I pause it, I can look through the floor. See, there you go. Because it's negative height as well. That's okay, though. So we made all our cubes. Now I just want to check if I actually want to make them. And I'm going to do this here. So this for loop is going to be a little bit bigger, so that belongs to this for loop, and I just need to do an if in here. So first my center, 
center is going to be what? So, so in this case, our radius is 4, and our center is 0, 0. Actually, it's always 0, 0, so yeah, I can just do 0. You know, th this is just shorthand for that. That's what that is. So now, for every i, j, k, I just need to see the distance. I'm going to make a new position. It's going to be a vector 3, i, j, k. So we're going to say the distance is going to be what? It's going to be, there's a vector 3 as a useful little tool for this. You can do dot distance, and now you give it two vectors. So a vector, comma, a vector. So position and center. So now we have this number distance. So say we're looking at this cube on the top left. Distance is going to be that. The length of that line. So all we got to do now is if the distance is less than the radius. That's when we want to make this cube. Otherwise we don't. So I'll save that and press play. And while well, it's again in the floor, but it's looking spheroid like, I'm going to make this a little bit higher up. So instead of at j, let's just make it at j plus 10. Save that. Okay, it looks like we've got a spheroid. Well, that's actually a sphere. What if we wanted to stretch this out for one last fun thing? Okay, so here's our sphere on the right. We actually want to stretch it. How are we going to do that? So the basic approach is this. We're going to double the height of all the squares we're checking, except this won't actually do anything to start. It'll just be as though, as though we had done this. And then all these other squares are still going to be red, okay? But we're still going to have a, a bigger area we're going to check. So that in here, that's just going to be changing the radius. So for the, the j, that's the height. We're going to say times 2 and then times 2. And if I play, this will actually be the same thing. We've got the same spheroid, although now the cubes underneath here and, and above, we are checking if those are, you know, if we want to make it there. And now we just have to change how we're checking. So this position, we need to kind of pretend as though the J is worth less than it is. So normally when we're all the way up here and we're checking the distance to the center, we get this really long line. And we, we actually might want to make this a green one all the way up here. So what we need to do is we need to penalize the, the j less, so the y coordinate or the j. So we're going to divide it by 2. So it's if we're up here, say this is, this is 0, 0. If we're all the way up here and we divide it by 2, it's like we're pretending we're actually there. So I'm just going to divide that by 2 and save it, press play. Okay, there you go. We've got our spheroid. I think it's actually going through the floor again. But if I press Q, and again, forgive my slow computer, but there you go. We've got a spheroid. So that's how you make a spheroid out of cubes. Boom! <laughs>